What's going on, guys? This is Tower Number Nine, and this is for the second of my Star Wars Unlimited Combo Explainer videos. And today we're going to go into the uh, the quick Vader deployment combo that uh, Thork showed me a little while ago, and uh, show how it works. So in this video, I'm playing Vader. I have an opponent that I basically just copied and pasted the same deck. All he's going to do is play a unit on the first turn, uh, and you know the main point is just to show how this works rather than playing a real game. Um, so on the first turn, I can do whatever. I can even miss my initial drop. It doesn't really matter. Let's say in this case, I play a season short trooper. Um, on the next turn, I'm going to draw up. Uh, we can resource here. So the way this combo works is if it all if it all lines up, uh, you can actually deploy Vader on the third turn, and that is really strong. So. The um, normally Vader deploys on the sixth turn at seven resources, but if you hit the right combination of ramp effects, you can actually play him as you can actually deploy him as early as the third turn. So on the first turn, we do whatever. Uh, let's go to the second turn. On the second turn, what I'm going to do is play a copy of Resupply, put this event into play as a resource. Um, so that is going to go ahead and uh, become a resource. It is an exhausted resource, not a ready resource, but it will ramp me that little bit closer. Um, whatever happens with these units doesn't really matter. Uh, you know, let's just say we hit each other's bases, you know, what of it. Um, so then I'm going to draw, draw up resource again. And then on this third turn, this is where, you know, the magic happens. So let's say I can do... So I'm going to use the, uh, I have these upside down. Let's fix that real quick. So the Energy Conversion Lab is an epic action. I can play a unit that costs six or less from my hand and give it ambush for this phase. So we're going to use that in conjunction with the Super Laser Technician. This is one of the highest value cards to ambush with the Energy Conversion Lab. So the Super Laser Technician is a three cost two one. When defeated, you may put this unit into play as a resource and ready it. So I will ambush the Super Laser Technician into my opponent's unit. Super Laser Technician defeated, but becomes a readied resource. So now I have three resources remaining. And after whatever else happens, I'm going to play my second resupply, put this event into play as a resource. That uses all my resources, but I now have seven resources available, even though it's only the third turn. And I am going to deploy Vader and uh, you know wreak some havoc. So there you have it. And that's the combo. In order to do this combo, you need to have Energy Conversion Lab as your base. You need to have, uh, and you need to have two resupplies and a super laser technician. You can also potentially do it with two super laser technicians and a resupply. Um, if you play, if on the second turn you play the super laser technician and then are able to attack and get it defeated, um, at some time during the third turn, as well as also having the other one ambush. Um, so that is that is how this combo works. It does not immediately win the game, but it gets Vader out really early. So if we assume my opponent had resourced as normal. Um, we would now have four resources on my opponent's side versus seven on my side, and Darth Vader, Dark Lord of the Sith, the current most powerful leader unit in the game in terms of uh, direct fighting ability, uh, already on the fields. So this can be really scary. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, that's the core combo. Now you do need to hit the you need, do need to hit several ramp cards, and additionally, your opponent has to deploy ground units. So the let and let, let me explain why. So the super laser technician, which I'm going to use one or two of to do the combo, uh, needs to get himself defeated in order to become a readied resource. And the way that you do that from hand is by ambushing him into a ground unit with the energy conversion lab. However, if the opponent does not have ground units, you don't have anything to ambush into. You can still play him and potentially turn him into a resource by pinging him off with Vader. Uh, using the leader side ability here. Uh, you can use this to deal one damage to your own unit and one damage to the enemy base. However, um, that is not going to allow you to get the turn three Vader because it does cost a resource to do that and you need every single resource to execute this combo correctly. Um, so if your opponent does not play to the ground at all, this combo is not going to go off. There are also some things that could be uh, negative or disruptive for it. For instance, if you play Del Miko, who makes events cost one more, that's going to make the resupplies cost one more, and therefore the combo is not going to work. Um, if you do the version of it that involves uh, going back and playing the first, uh, instead of a resupply as the first piece of the combo, um, playing a turn, uh, you know, you play the turn two super laser technician, and then the opponent hits it with waylay and bounces it back to your hand. That's also going to disrupt the combo. 
um, or if on the next turn they exhaust it and make it so that you can't attack with it and turn it into a resource. Um, things like that will prevent the um, things like that will prevent the combo from going off. Additionally, even if the combo does go off, it does not actually win the game. The first time that I saw this combo go off, believe it or not, it was a game that I was playing with Red Luke against Thork, and I actually won the game even though this combo occurred. So I'll have a link to that in the video description below. I will say that, however, there was a later game where he also did the combo and he kicked my butt with it. So that was a... Um, I do think it is a potentially quite strong combo, and it's absolutely something that can happen in a normal game. I have seen it happen in a normal game. So that's something to be aware of uh, if you are playing against Vader. Um, the main counterplay option is to just go to space instead of being in the ground arena to dodge those super laser attacks. But if you do have exhaust effects or waylays for them in the event that the opponent does play them on field, it can help out. Um, Del Miko to counter the resupply is also potentially a good option. And of course, one other thing is that you can limit the value that your opponent gets from Vader himself by exhausting him when he deploys. Also, if you're playing a you know very fast aggro deck and the opponent is trying to do this, um, you know, let's say you're playing Sabine and you're doing aggro in space, uh, that could be a situation where it's it ends up being kind of difficult for him. Um, that being said, it is a genuinely strong combo. Um, it is reliant on drawing the, drawing the right cards for it, which all combos kind of are. If you want to try and make this combo more consistent, you actually sort of can't because it relies on, ha on using every resource that you have available. Um, in principle, there are things you could include, like, you know, copies of Recruit to try to find the super laser technicians or whatever, but, but it doesn't work with a combo this tight. So, um, you know, that's the, uh, that's the combo, uh, some of the things that can interfere with it, and I will have a link to the combo actually in action in the video description below. So, yeah, that is, uh, that is Thork's, uh, Thork's turn three Vader deployment combo. It is, it can be a very nasty surprise, uh, if and when it happens to you, but, uh, just, a just a little thing to watch out for in the future. Thanks for, thanks for watching, guys, and we will be back later with some more Star Wars Unlimited content, both in terms of the standard gameplay videos, but also some more combo explainer stuff, and I actually have a uh, new weekly feature coming up soon that I'm excited about. Uh, you will have to wait and see what that is, but the first one of those should, I believe, go up probably next week, so stay tuned for some more Star Wars Unlimited content, and yeah, catch you guys later.